Sam Lambeth is celebrating 10 years on Four Chords. There's a gig, there's an album, there's probably a novel as well, but who knows, anything could happen with him. He's with me now to tell me more about it. Hello, sir. Hello. So, uh, come on, what is going on? Because it's going to be a big gig, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so, pretty much, um, as you know, 10 years ago, I did my first band, uh, The Monobloggers. Mm-hmm. And you were very kind, you were always very supportive. We came and did you a few... You were always very good, though, so that, that, well, that's the reason why. Thank you. And we came and did a few sessions with you, didn't we? Mm-hmm. You played us at the Molyneux, mm-hmm. which is... Uh, you know, very much appreciated. Um, since then, I've been in two or three other bands. Uh, Quinn was another band that was going for a few years, released a couple of records. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, this year marked 10 years um, since I've been in all those different bands. And um, I thought, you know, I'm always one for nostalgia. And I thought it'd be a great opportunity to play some songs that I hadn't played for a number of years mm-hmm. because, you know, as many bands will tell you, when you, uh, well, band members will tell you, when you form a new band, um, you don't tend to play the songs from the previous band. It's all new, 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 and that's the way yeah, it works. Yeah, it's very much a case of, you know, you go, you have a new look, a new image, new style, and new songs. Yeah, and then you have a new look and image every three or four weeks, though. Yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of sticking with this one now. Okay. I, I feel, the, the goatee and the check look is, is it at the minute. Yeah, yeah, although someone today said it looked like I was wearing my jammers, so. I, it's, well, it, it's, you know, a, a quality suit, so. Well, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, for example, when I was in Quinn, I couldn't really play songs that I played in the Monobloggers, which mm-hmm. was a shame because, you know, those songs went down quite well and um, got a bit of good feedback from those. And then in my last band, Winona, which sadly didn't last that long, um, again, couldn't play Quinn songs, couldn't play Monoblogger songs. And uh, I had a bit of a nostalgic day a few months ago when I listened to the songs and I thought, it's a real shame I don't get to play those tracks anymore. And I just thought... If I can get you know the best of each band into one handy kind of set list, one stick it under your own name and away you go. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I thought that would be a way then to get it out there, show people you know the 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 best of what I had to offer. You know, <laughs> and, and, and hopefully. But this is this is only the first ten years. There is more to come. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I hadn't planned on living that long, but you know, you never know. <laughs> so the gig itself is on. Friday the twelfth of July. Tickets are on sale now via yeah. uh, C tickets mm-hmm. or. Feel free to come and message me. You know, I'll be more than happy to uh, sort you out with tickets. I mean, you have to pay, but I can I can put you in the right direction. Okay, you, you know. can sort that one out. Brilliant. <laughs> but I mean, this is this now under your name because previously on Facebook we searched for Quinn, the monogram. Yeah. So how do we find you on these? Well, you, you've hit the nail on the head there, haven't you? Because that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do it as well. Because people will come up to me and go, oh, you know, I've heard you've been in bands. Obviously, this didn't happen very often, but the few times people would celebrity <laughs> status. Come on. <laughs> but the, on the times when people would say, oh, can I? send me some of your music, you know, I'll, I'll listen to it. I was having to pinpoint them to Queen, I'd send them a couple of songs from Monobloggers, I'd go, oh, it's the latest one from Winona. And really, if you look at it, you know, from a business point of view, every time I had a new band, I was kind of diluting my brand, I said, no, you know. Um, I kind of wish in a way it could have been, I could have been the Monobloggers from start to finish or what have you. But yeah, so this time it's just Sam Lambeth, so... You know, if people type Sam Lambeth in Spotify, that best of is going to come up. Mm-hmm. Vice versa on Facebook, you know, and the things like that. So it's very much under my name. Not to discredit, of course, all the hard work that, you know, the mm-hmm. guys in Monobloggers did and the guys in Quinn did and whatnot, you know. They're going to, you know, I always highlight that these songs came from those bands, but, you know, yeah. So. And the album of your version of your own stuff from previous bands, I think I've more or less got that sorted. Yeah. Is it going to be available? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be on uh, Spotify, iTunes, things, all, all those kind of outlets. And again, that's another reason for doing it, that the monoblogger stuff, I think there was like two tracks on Spotify, which was, again, a real shame, you know, because mm-hmm. how people consume music these days is through Spotify. And I, it was actually a real test to get it on there because some of this monoblogger stuff, or I only had it on CD, mm-hmm. like a CD from 10 years ago. Most laptops these days don't have disk drives or anything like that. So having to actually get it onto Spotify was an effort in itself. Um, but yes, it's going to be on Spotify and then iTunes and um, there's another one that people listen to. I can't remember what it's called. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Uh, and yeah. you're doing some stuff for charity alongside all of this as well. Yeah, so um, the gig, um, all the proceeds are going to go to Teenage Cancer Trust. Mm-hmm. Over the years, I've, I've done bits and bobs with them, like with Quinn, the EPs, the profits went to them, and so it's a nice continuation, really. And I wanted to do it because, obviously, on the surface, you look at it and think, oh, Sam Lambeth's doing a gig where he plays Sam Lambeth songs, and he's also releasing the best of, of Sam Lambeth music. Mm-hmm. To me, it's just I, I was really worried about doing it because I think people are going, are going to be thinking... 
that's so narcissistic, you know. No, you are. Well, yeah, but I don't want people to know that. Okay, it's a secret. Yeah. Well, I won't tell. And um, I thought, well, how can I? I guess how can I make? How can I do it and feel good about it and feel like I'm I'm doing something good? Uh, aside from you know the thrill I get from being back on stage and mm-hmm. playing music, and um, I thought to do it for charity would be really good because you know, it's, uh, then it kind of gives the gig an extra kind of gravitas, an mm-hmm. extra reason to do it, and hopefully it will uh, raise a bit of money. And also we got. Uh, the guys from Not Normal, Not Okay, um, they've been trying to stamp out sexual harassment at gigs, whether it's, you know, backstage, you know, in the crowd, whether it's involving the bands or the audience. And they've been doing a really, really good job and um, they're going to be coming along, kind of raising awareness and hopefully people might donate to them as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, hopefully it would be a gig where, you know, there's benefits for me in the sense I'm out the house and, <laughs> I get, I'm, I, and I'm getting to play music You're again. adored by your public, yeah? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'll both be there. <laughs> uh, and uh, also, hopefully, we'll raise some money. Okay, so yeah. sounds good. So where do people go to things? We've briefly mentioned some of the details, so give this is, this is your information download now. Tell us all where you can get it all. Yeah, well, okay, first things first, the best of, 10 years on four chords. I don't know if you appreciate that. I do, yeah, because <laughs> I think that, that's at least two more than I thought you could well, do, to be honest. I'm, but, I'm boasting, really. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be on Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, all the rest of them from this coming Friday, which will be the 25th. Mm-hmm. Uh, of May. I think it's the 24th, but we'll ride over that. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I don't even know myself. This is Friday. That's yeah, important. yeah. Friday. And then uh, the actual gig is at Birmingham, Victoria. So it's fairly close to the train station, so hopefully it's convenient for people. And that's going to be on Friday, the 12th of July. Uh, got two great support bands, Bryony Williams, who you may or may not know. She's mm-hmm. from Wolverhampton. Yep. Extremely talented. Uh, really looking forward to sharing the stage with her again. And a chap called Paul Beaubont, who's from Wood and Nails, who are an excellent Birmingham band that I've never been able to gig with for some reason. And they finally, work now. finally it's going to happen. And yeah, uh, Friday the 12th, Birmingham, Victoria. Tickets are on sale now. Type in Sam Lambert for 10 years on four chords and you'll find it. Yeah. It's five quid entry. Um, and again, it all goes to Teenage Cancer Trust. So, you know, it's a, hopefully a win-win situation mm-hmm. for people, I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So... Great stuff, great gig, it's going to be good. The music's fantastic, it's a top fella. Go along and support him. Sam, thanks for having a chat. Thank you very much for having me yet again. It's very much appreciated.